Welcome to a new video and I hope you guys are all doing well. If you saw my previous video, you will probably remember this Prada nylon look from Farfetch. I'm just so obsessed with these little pockets and now I'm going to meet a friend so I decided to wear this out. And I do have a 10% discount code from Farfetch that I will put here if you guys want to use it to go check out any other pieces. I linked a bunch of Prada nylon stuff with the little pockets that I'm obsessed with down below. I also got a new manicure and fixed my broken nails and this time I did a coffin shape with Tiramisu for two by OPI for the base and they put some crystals on top for something a little more fun. So now I'm just waiting for my friend and we are going to head out to some lunch and take some photos. I changed into something a bit more comfortable and casual because this afternoon I have some errands I have to run before I fly back to Northern California tomorrow and I'm just gonna be in NorCal for the weekend and then I'm coming back to LA the following week. I'm kind of going back and forth now between the Bay Area and LA because I have a lot more jobs and projects and things to do in LA but then the Bay Area is still home for me and I'm currently hotel living because I don't have a place in LA at the moment. So I'm looking to find a more permanent hotel to always go back to every time I come to LA. And the other thing is, in case you guys are wondering, since I'm always wearing these shirts in my videos, they are like my go-to comfy casual shirt. So I have nine of them and there's four black ones. I have two navies. Uh, an orange and white one, a pink and navy one, a white and navy one. I was just trying to tell you guys that I'm not wearing like the same shirt for three days in a row because that would be kind of gross and not very sanitary. Just finished a meeting in West Hollywood and now I'm waiting for an Uber to head to my alterations lady to pick up one last dress that I have with her. And then I need to go get some rings that I purchased resized because they're a little bit too big for my fingers. Then I'm going to head to Beverly Hills for some last errands. And then finally I can go back to my hotel and pack because I have so much to pack and nothing is in my suitcases yet. I just got to Beverly Hills and my Uber kind of dropped me off at the wrong place because I'm supposed to be at this chocolate shop called T-shirt or Toy Shirt. I'm not sure how to pronounce it exactly and if you haven't noticed I'm not very good with pronunciations but they have the most amazing champagne truffles and I know they're not vegan but I still like to have one every once in a while because they're so good. I also don't drink alcohol but there's probably very little champagne in the chocolates and my family loves them and so I wanted to bring some back for when I go home tomorrow. We got the chocolates and now I'm just heading over to Saks to pick up a few things from Chanel and then I can head back to my hotel. Finally back at the hotel and also I just put in my Invisalign so if I'm speaking kind of funny that's why but I want to show you guys what I got from Chanel and also the Versace dress that I picked up this afternoon from Alterations because it's one of my new favorite dresses and I think it's so cool all the details on it. The dress is all black and it has gold details which is classic Versace and on the top it's very strappy and it has these little studs with the Medusa head on it and there's like a safety pin here with a little crystal charm thing. This side is ruched and there's like a silk thing that kind of goes across and on the bottom there's a slit and there's these four pins that kind of fasten it together and I will show you guys what I got from Chanel now. So you saw this afternoon that I went to Saks to pick up a few things that I had inside the Chanel boutique and I honestly shop Chanel everywhere like I shop it inside Saks, inside Neiman's or at Nordstrom or just their standalone boutiques at the airport honestly wherever and I have salespeople at each of the stores that I know and usually when I want something 
I just text it to everyone and whoever gets it first is who I buy it from. So these are just some things that I had from Saks. And we will start with this first little box. These are some fingerless leather gloves and this is actually my first pair of Chanel gloves. I saw these and I thought they were so cool because I love the eyelet details on it. This one is silver and black. There's also a black and gold one. And I like how it has the chain detail around the sides because you know Chanel is very known for like the chain thing that they do. It's like the chain that's on their handbags. I have a Chanel bandana that also has these little eyelet things on it. And it's kind of cool how you can see your skin underneath. So I'm going to try them on to show you guys what it looks like. I thought this was a fun accessory. And like I said, I don't really have anything like it. And it could be cool styled with like a leather jacket or something like that. And just add something a bit more fun to an outfit and make it a bit more different. So now I will show you guys the sweater that I got. I know it's like way too hot for sweaters, but now the collections that are coming into stores are like pre-fall and fall things. So it's like a lot of sweaters and coats and jackets, but winter will be coming soon. Unfortunately, right now in LA, it is the complete opposite of winter. It's like over a hundred. So this sweater, I actually first saw in a shared album that one of my Chanel salespeople shared with me and it was over quarantine, so I never got to see it in person. But then I came across it at Saks and I thought it was so beautiful and even more gorgeous in person because you know Chanel has such beautiful details on their clothing. So this sweater is a very thick knitted material and it has gold stitching throughout. And my favorite part is actually this little brooch thing that's on the sweater. It has these gold and black crystals and down the front are these buttons. It's like a high neck style so you could button all the way up and it would be like a turtleneck or you could like leave it open it would be like how this shirt is sitting and it's long sleeves and kind of cropped it kind of hits like mid length here and i just thought it was such a nice piece for winter and autumn so that is what i got from chanel today and now I really need to pack because I don't have anything in any of my luggages and my flight is tomorrow morning. So I need to do some packing and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning and please excuse my shiny face because I just put on some face oil this morning. But I just finished packing and it's around 11.10, 11.15 and I have an Uber ride scheduled at 11.30. So I have like another 20 minutes to zip up all of my luggage and call the bellman and have them help me bring it down. I had quite a difficult time squeezing everything into my bags because I accumulated a lot more things over the past four weeks since I've been away. And I'm usually pretty good at packing, like I'm very organized and I put everything like, you know, it's like Tetris, so it all fit, but I'm pretty sure all the bags are overweight. So let me show you guys really quickly all the bags and everything that I have before I call the bellman to help me collect the bags. Here we have the tofu skin that I didn't finish. There's like five packs left. And these are all the chocolates that I got yesterday. And this is like an Irawan bag, a luggage over there. These are all of the shopping bags and boxes. And this luggage is already zipped and ready to go. I have this one here and also this one. And now I just need to close up all of these and I'm going to call the hotel to help them with my bags. Not sure you guys can recognize me anymore, but I just went through security and now I'm in the bathroom and changed into this white disposable suit and my mom insisted that I wear this on the plane. So this is my airport outfit. I made it to San Jose and now I can take off my suit. It's honestly such a relief to take this off because I really had to pee. And now I'm gonna go get my bags and find a place to dispose of this. 
I can probably recycle it actually because I think it's made of paper. The San Jose airport is so empty and I have never seen it like this before. There's literally nobody here. I'm like the only person and I'm also pretty sure there's no one on my flight that has bags because I'm the only person in baggage claim. So hopefully the bags will come out faster than they usually do. Hello! This is the protocol for coming home. We gotta wipe down all the luggage and the wheels before I can take it up to unpack. I have finished unpacking and putting everything away and I also changed even though I was wearing that white suit I still like to change after I get back from the airport because I just feel kind of dirty if you know what I mean and I also had lunch and the most embarrassing thing happened long story short I ate part of my fake nail so what happened was I was eating the Arawan bread because I mean you know it's like one of my favorite things and I heard a loud crunch when I took a bite and my mom was sitting next to me and she also heard it and we were just looking at each other like okay what just happened and so I thought I ate part of my nail because I like you know bit very close to where my nail was when I was eating the bread and I looked down and I didn't see anything was like missing or anything like that so I was like okay you know what I don't know what that was then later I was texting and using my finger and I saw that a tiny little piece was actually missing I'm not sure if this will focus so I don't know if you guys can see but there is like a tiny little piece of my nail that's actually missing it's like a little chunk maybe you can see it from this angle but it's very small so it's nothing horrible so that was kind of embarrassing and also kind of grossed out when i found out that happened anyways now i am going to unbox these packages that came in for me because i was away for almost four weeks and i honestly didn't order that many things while i was away i've kind of calmed down a little bit on the shopping and ordering just because i use my own money to shop now so i just have to be more careful and selective on what i choose to buy and these are the packages that we have there is one two three four five six so the first piece is this Dion Lee corset top and it has these big pockets on the top. I thought this was so pretty because I love how it has that lace detail all over it and kind of that corset boning on the top and the pockets are kind of cute. The back has a zipper and that's how it opens and closes. I believe it also comes in black, but I'm not 100% sure. There's also a blazer version that comes in black and Dion Lee is an Australian designer and she's also one of my kind of like newer favorite designers that I like and I'll link some of her other pizzas that I love down below because she has a lot of cool stuff this season this next one is a Jacquemus top and the color is kind of interesting online it says the color is called mushroom and I think that's a good way to describe it because it's kind of like a light brown mushroom color and this knit is super interesting I have to put it on in order to show you guys but I don't really feel like trying it on now you'll see it on my Instagram for sure it basically has like a tank thing underneath and I believe it's all connected yeah it's all one piece but it looks like it's two pieces so this is like a nice summer knit because it's very thin and lightweight it's still super hot in LA and in California just because of all the fires and everything and the air is also not good at all here it's improved a little bit but it's still not good air quality this is the Oribe dry texturizing spray and I've shown this to you guys before. It's just one of my favorite hairsprays and I love the smell of all Oribe products. This is a men's shirt and I had to have them order me a smaller size because it's men's so I wanted to take the smallest size and I sometimes like dabble in the men's a little bit because men's has some cool stuff and it's like gonna be oversized but I don't mind and I have another men's Dior shirt that I really like and this is from the Sean Stussy Sean collection I don't know exactly how to pronounce the name but it's from a collaboration Dior did with this guy and I love the logo print that's all over it I think it's just like a nice classic shirt 
Next, we have some swimsuits that were gifted to me by this brand called La Revche. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, probably not, but this is what it looks like and I will link the stuff down below as well so you guys can check it out if you want. And this is the bikini top that I chose. It's a little red one and it has these flower embellishments on it. The brand is kind of known for all these flower embellished pieces. Maybe you guys have seen some of them on Instagram already, but they do a lot of flower embellished stuff on their swimsuits. So this is the bikini top and the bottom looks like this on the sides. It also has the little flower pieces. And there's another one in here. This is a very pretty one-piece swimsuit and it has this kind of V-shape in the front and the back cuts very low and it has this flower thing that goes all the way down and around and I think it's just such a cute and pretty and feminine swimsuit. So I cannot wait to wear these during the last few days of summer, although summer in California lasts almost all year round so I'm sure I will get a chance to wear these sometime soon. Our very last box is from Credo, and I'm just gonna show you guys some of the things that I ordered. This is the Primo Hand, Nail, and Foot Treatment from Couscous, and I use this as a foot lotion. I like the texture of it, and it's really nice for traveling because it's like a jar, so you don't have to worry about it exploding. These are some facial moisturizers from this brand called Josh Rosebrook. It's called the Vital Balm Cream and most of the ingredients in these products are all organic because that's kind of what I like to do for skincare. I like to keep it very clean, very simple and minimal. I don't like to do a hundred steps. Or Next, we have these body lotions from that same brand called Kush Kush. I don't know how to say it. It's kind of a funny name. And this is called the Rasa Restorative Potion. And I use this as a body lotion. And like the foot cream, it comes in the jar, which is really nice for traveling. Last but not least, we have these hydrating, accelerating, moisturizing sprays from Josh Rosebrook. I like to just spray these to kind of freshen up a little bit and before I start my skincare routine. And that is it, and it's the last box. So I'm going to end this vlog here and clean up and put all these things away and then have some dinner. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this vlog. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!